All right, folks, this is number 180, and I'm just getting on here pretty much live. Well, it's after 4 a.m. I got it much earlier. Had a lot of trouble with this Wi-Fi connection. I'm not real happy with T-Mobile. Their Wi-Fi hotspot, you know, I changed the service slightly, so it slowed it down, so I can't even stream USA Watchdog, Greg Hunter. So I'm forced to pay $40 more a month, plus tax, in order to be able to have internet service there ain't much on the internet that's worth watching you still got to deal with the damn commercials i mean and the pop-ups and uh and all the propaganda i'm really tired of the brainwashing and the propaganda especially of youtube putting the screws to your head that's for sure talk about a it's a beast system man it's enslaved slavery but, but let's talk about some good news the numbers are in for Biden. He's not electable. He never was. Or should I say, Obama has finally worn out his welcome and the American people don't want him around anymore. Well, it's a little late because Obama set the country up to take it down. Him and Michael want to destroy America. That's why they keep the biological warfare up. That's why they keep the psychological warfare up. That's why they keep all the fear up on all sides as possible. What are the real Biden approval numbers? At best, at best, 11.5%. And it really looks like his real approval numbers are 8%. And in case you're wondering, the only demographic that approves, that approves the president <laughs> are the hate Trumpers. The insane people out there. Now, I don't care much for Trump. He kept the charade going. He had his chance. He could have gotten us he could have gotten us free and clear and restored the republic, and he failed. He'll fail again too. You're gonna elect him. Darn sight better than O'Biden or Obama, whatever the hell it is, that monstrosity that occupies the White House. People do not like this administration. They know the country's been taken over. They're tired of it. The central government needs to lay down its arms and surrender. They're getting ready to release release the world whirlwind upon us. They're getting ready to release the new newcomers upon us. They're going to arm their asses up and release them on us. They're going to start doing violent stuff this summer. There's no way around it. They have no choice, they've, but they got two ways to go about it. Well, they have several ways. They could be very creative about it. They could go at it pocket-wise and take down a little bit at a time, which is the way I'd do it if I was going to take it down. Or they could go for it all at once, which might be just overwhelming enough. But the problem is people need to realize the Democrat communists need to be flat out taken out. No tolerance. Oh, we tolerated their bullshit, and look at where it got us. We tolerated. We tried to coexist. They preached coexistence long enough to become top dog, and now they've been croaking our asses. I mean, how many people are still in federal prisons over the January 6th bullshit in which Pelosi did her insurrection against the government and the country? She's the queen bee. She's the one that ought to be in prison. Actually, it should be worse than that, but I can't say that because that would be real hate speech. I mean, I can't tell you what I think ought to happen to Pelosi, but I will say this. I would appreciate it if it was done legally, lawfully, prop if she had a proper defense and an opportunity to defend herself, unlike the people that they've arrested have had no opportunity to defend themselves. But I'll tell you right now, the best way to beat this government is to just slowly whittle the hell out of it. We need to defund the Department of Justice. There's no justice there. I'm sorry, folks, but if you ask me what justice looked like, I can't tell you. So I'm going to ask you, what does justice look like? We are so fucked up that there's no way to get justice. There's no way to even imagine what justice could even look like. What would remotely resemble justice at this point? They have disturbed this country and the foundation for so long. You want to know where it went down and when it went down? 1812. 
We passed the original 13th Amendment to put the attorneys in their places. Why? Because they got us in the War of 1812. And we got rid of the bar associations. So we thought. And the bar and their king in England conspired. They raided the state legislative offices. In Virginia, in particular, they took the handwritten notes. They remain in England under lock and key. Now, what the hell are our handwritten legislative notes from the state of Virginia doing in their possession, in the possession of the kings and queens of England since 1812, 1813? No, no. All of our presidents have done us in, the Bushes in particular. That's got to be the worst family ever. My understanding is Obama might be fathered by one of the Bushes. They might have decided, hey, they'll never believe this black man is one of us. We'll get away with another president in here. We can slip one in, another Bush, but we'll name him Obama. Sounds like a good Irish name, doesn't it? It's all screwed up. Can you straighten it out? I mean, I can't. I do know that we need to re-embrace the original 13th Amendment, which is the law of the land. We need to kick the bar association attorneys to the curb, and they're going to go away. And we probably will have to realize that they may not be rehabilitatable. It may be over for them because they've carried on with this so far and so long and done so much damage. What does justice look like? I mean, what's just when you know that they've been illegal since 1812 and yet on March 4th of 1813, in violation of the newly ratified 13th Amendment, the Congress sat the attorneys. You want to know what the 13th Amendment says? I got it from my home state of New Hampshire. They had to translate it for me. Looked like a, looked like an incredible printing job. That handwriting was so beautiful, and I couldn't read it. That's how educated I am. I can't read the handwritten notes from the state of Virginia from 1812. Beautiful handwriting. I mean, magnificent. Better than any printing that you see today done by computers or any fonts anyone sets up. My God, we were so well educated and so bright back then. And we weren't poisoned with all these toxins. All the shit they put in the water, in the air, in the food, in our clothes, in our building materials. They put chemicals, they sneak everything in possible to shorten our lives. And they do shorten our lives. I got a guy who says we're supposed to be living to 70 years of age is what it says in the Bible. So we're beyond what our, what our timeline is because we're over 70. That's bullshit. I read the Bible. It says 120 years. Yeah. Where's, where's my other 50 years? And I want quality time. Well... I really don't want Trump for president myself. I think he's a thief. He stole the Golan Heights. It wasn't his land to give away to Israel. Now they call it the Trump Heights. And we let him slide because we like him. And he's a Republican. What the hell's wrong with you people? Theft is theft. And look. We've got these jackasses in D.C. who want to steal from Russia. And they, they think they're getting away with it. I got news for you. They have destroyed our currency faster than, slicker than snot, man. I mean, they have destroyed it. You've got to look at the Ukraine differently. The Ukraine is not a war against Russia. The Ukraine is a war against our own people. They are dissipating our energies, our blood, our treasure as fast as they can in the Ukraine. They've decimated our weapons stockpiles, so we can't even defend ourselves. We can't even wage a war of self-defense right now. And yet we're going around bombastic like we're still king hot shit or something. We can't even fight a war. We don't have the industrial base necessary to produce produce the armaments necessary to keep going. We can't do it for the Ukraine. We can't even do it for ourselves. Why? 
How is the real question. Because of the traitorous, treasonous Senate. That's why. Those bastards gave it all away over decades. All of those senators that have served, man, their families need to be paying the price. Look at what happened in Michigan. Oxford, Michigan. They found the mother and the father guilty of manslaughter. Well, should not the senators be guilty of treason since they handed everything over to the Chinese. They took our industrial base and gave it away to them. Did you know? I mean, we used to have the textile industry here. We made it. We gave it all to the Chinese. Did you know we can't even get basics like medical gauze? How much high tech does it take to put cotton balls together, huh? We can't even do that. We have to turn to the Chinese for that. Cotton balls. We can't make cotton balls. Hell, you can damn near go out and pick that stuff. I don't think you have to manufacture it. I think nature makes it. You just have to refine it and get the burrs out of it. That's all. Gin it. Get the seeds out. You know, your political class are your biggest treasons treasonous rat bastards ever in this country. And right now, I'm just amazed. I mean, that that newest Supreme Court justice, um, whatever her name is, it ain't Kagan. Kagan tried to cover when the woman with the, uh, with the well, with the cat out of the bag that, that um, Chevron deference has to go away. You see, Chevron deference is nothing less than tyranny. And the Supreme Court knows if they don't start curtailing this government that this country is over with very quickly. And people are so pissed off. But then again, people do have a certain sense of justice. But we have no sense of families anymore. You want a sense of families, you might as well turn to the Mexican families. Turn to the Native American families. Not that they're all that nice to each other out in the reservations. They play horrible games with each other in the, in the bush in Alaska. It's horrible what they do to each other. Man, there's no more prejudice than the natives in Alaska. They hate each other. They are racist. Mother, you know what? I mean, it's just pretty bad. But, you know, you and I are the only ones that can be racist because we white. Nobody else can be racist. And, and we're supremacists, too, because we white. Because we colorless, odorless. We got no stink. I mean, who is it that keeps screaming about white supremacism? Look at that population that screams about it all the time. They're the ones that have taken over the country. And they're the ones that are practicing real racism, real supremacism, enslaving the rest of us. They control the media. They control your banking system. They control your politicians. They control the law profession. They control psychology to a very, very, most, mostly, yeah, they control most of that. They control the medical profession, too. They control it all. America's been over for a long time. It's been dead. The longest lasting civilization on the planet, according to Eustace Mullins, was 1,100 years. The Byzantine Empire, so I suggest you ask yourself, what did the Byzantine Empire do that we're not doing? Or go ask the fellow who moved to New Hampshire and was utterly disgusted with the people in this country and went back home. Alexander couldn't wait to go home to Mother Russia. He hated it here. He couldn't believe how low we were, how low we had sunk. He couldn't believe how the standards were gone here. He didn't want to hang out with us. He wanted to go back home to Mother Russia. His last book was never translated in English. Do you know why? Because it tells you who the bad guys are. It tells you who's conquered America, who runs America today. Yeah, you see, they already kicked their asses out of Russia for the most part. Oh, don't get me wrong. Those damn secret societies are everywhere. I think there ought to be a law against them. I think if Kennedy had survived, he was going to rule them all illegal as hell. 
Why? Because they're they they've done all kinds of stuff in the background to destroy us. They really have done a job of destroying us. God, this Sony computer, this old 15-year-old beast is still working. I wouldn't buy a new computer in this country. I wouldn't buy anything new in this country. It's all got spyware in it. That's why I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't spend any money on anything electronics. I wouldn't buy any new smart anything because it all spies on you. I'd isolate. Well, I do have my house kind of isolated. It's not isolated enough. I'd like to generate my own electricity and be totally independent from the system here. I don't trust anything to do with this government. They actually can get into your house through the electrical wires and do things to you by writing frequencies on that that you won't believe that they can do. They have all kinds of psychotronic weapons, all kinds of things to disable you and to impede your life, and they're using that stuff all the damn time. That's why it's so screwed up. My God, the drivers in some cities are so wound up, specifically because those psychotronic frequency weapons are beamed at them all the time to irritate the hell out of them and make them violent. They can't get us to go violent enough, fast enough. So we're bringing in outsiders. We're importing our own violence. And in case you're wondering, Joseph Robinette Biden and Barack Hussein Obama, yeah, he's the one running the country. Between the two of them, they brought in more than 30 million fighting age men. 30 million. So all they got to do is break out the arms and they're not going to give them one fire per trigger pull guns. Not only that, they're not going to give them full metal jacket that are required by the international law, the Geneva Convention. Law. They're going to give them freaking hollow points because they really want to kill us dead and they want us really suffering. However, if they could, they would prefer that they use knives because they love bloodletting. They really worship the god of war. They got some real ugly stuff going on in the background. I don't really want to know their stuff at all. Well, folks, I'm not defending you. I'm tired of you. I mean, I understand why the hell Jonah wanted to run away from Nineveh. He didn't want to help those assholes in Nineveh. Yahweh insisted he do it because he claimed they were innocence. They didn't know their left hand from their right hand. You don't know your left from the right either. Read the book. Jonah. Read it. I think he, Yahweh said he had 100,000 or was it 400,000 that didn't know their left hand from the right hand, meaning they're innocent. They're ignorant and they're innocent. That's where Americans are. We're the stupidest people on the planet. They laugh at us around the world today. They can't believe how gutless we are and how we fall for this bullshit all the time. They want to make jokes. Used to be Newfie jokes, right? Everybody would tease Newfies. Newfies are geniuses compared to Americans. At least Newfies know things are pretty screwed up. Americans, we're the best, baby. We're the latest and the greatest. Nobody can beat us. Nobody would ever do that to us. Nobody's going to lie to us. Nobody's going to take over our airwaves, feed us bullshit, and have the news broadcasting the same thing on all channels all the time, the same exact words and terms and phrases, brainwashing us, brainwashing us, washing our brains, scrubbing the hell out of them. And you go to the churches you got the liberal shit up from the pulpits, too. Those guys lie to you as well. They don't tell you the truth that's in the Bible. The only way you get to the truth of the Bible is to read it for yourself. And you're going to be shocked. It's so different than what you assume. I mean, when I finally sat down and read it, I was appalled. It's like, man, they didn't tell me about this in Sunday school when I was a little boy, even. And, of course, today you can't get anywhere near the biblical truth that was preached when I was a little boy. That would be considered a hostile environment because you got to go along to get along. you got to coexist. You've got to applaud and hold their twisted, perverted stuff at the same level as your own value system because that's what coexistence is, baby. Oh, and those doggone cannibals, those newcomers to Florida that Biden brought in, 
Barack Biden, whatever the hell he is. You have to tolerate that stuff. And you ought to see their demeanors when they're being interviewed and how they dress themselves up and how eager they are to eat human flesh. Even, I guess, their own. It's really macabre. It's really... It doesn't fit here. Not at all. I wouldn't even waste my time gathering them up and deporting them. I'm sorry. They're not worth that time and energy. I know. You're going to say this is hate speech. Well, I hate murder. I hate people who practice cannibalism. Yet here we are. Oh, and by the way, America hasn't hit bottom yet. What you're looking at today is going to seem like La La Land, Disney World, compared to what's coming. This place is going to sink to depths you can't imagine. How do I know that? Well, I do read history a little bit. But I read the Bible and Ezekiel documented the crap out of it. And the other prophets documented it too. The major sins, the problems that we have. Political correctness is in the Bible and two of the major prophets. They describe it to a T. You can't trust your family. You can't trust the woman you share your bed with. Oh, and you don't live in a patriarchy. Women, stop complaining about if you ran the world how much better it would be because right now you're running it. I hope you like what you got. Remember, you don't need us. You are definitely on your own. You're going to be defending yourselves or you're not going to have a defense. You think you can run roughshod over us men and we're going to lay down and take it? I'm not even going to look your way. I was reared to defend women, protect women. Why should I? Who's going to protect me from these women? We live in a matriarchy. They're, they're busy worshiping the Queen of Heaven. And she lives in Scottsdale, in case you're wondering. And she is royalty. Black nobility, meaning hidden behind the scenes. Runs the show from behind the curtain, just like the Wizard of Oz. Nothing is as it seems. Shakespeare wrote about this stuff. Oh, by the way, Shakespeare was illiterate, so how could he write about it? He was a front guy. He was a front guy for a man whose last name should have been Kent, fathered by Kent. I got the genealogies right back to the generation before that, maybe two generations after that generation that fathered that, that fellow that you uh, think wrote the plays. Well, William Shakespeare was an illiterate horse handler on the Kent estate. That's right. Only four examples of his handwriting in existence total. Some of them weren't even well-formed X's. He knew his horses. And at the end, they disposed of him because they had used him up and they murdered him. Ben Johnson was overheard bragging at the pub that he put a little arsenic in the old sod spear. And the people who were in charge, law enforcement back then, oh, they knew what was going on. They covered it up, just like good sheriffs do today. They cover up the crime, just like the FBI does today. They cover up the crime. Yes, the FBI covers up the CIA's crimes all the time. Seems like that's what their job is. This is number 180. I don't want to go on like this anymore. I want to relax. I want to have a good breakfast. I've got some paperwork to file to free myself up. I've got some other paperwork to file to recover some funds that were stolen due to a breach of contract by my insurance, previous insurance company. I have other paperwork to file because of the thefts of my uh, inheritances. I don't mind losing, but I'm going to create a paper trail, and you folks are going to want to read what I file in the courts. You need to understand what's happened to your country. You're so far off the mark, you have no idea. This is not a free country. It's not the land of the free and the home of the brave whatsoever. That generation, that great generation, they didn't need to fight that war. They shouldn't have fought that war. They should have stayed home. They should have left the world alone. 
we would have all been better off all the way around the planet. But we were taken over from within and misused, just like we're being misused today. And that military that you have that you think can take on everybody and everything? I'm sorry, I'm watching your former CIA agent now. And the guy doesn't impress me very much at all. Not his presence, his physical presence or anything about him. I'm listening to him. I'm not so sure he's the real deal. It's, you know, and he's telling us bad stuff anyway. So is that just another psyop? Oh, folks, you better pray to Yahweh. You better turn to Yahweh. You better repent. You better start loving the truth. You don't want to hear the truth because it's too ugly. It's too bizarre. You don't want to admit. I don't want to admit I've been fooled. I've been conned. I've been had. I don't want to admit that. It's embarrassing. Nobody can know that I was conned. No, not at all. That, I mean, that would be embarrassing. I just die. Folks, you need to start spitting out the truth. You need to start telling the truth, accepting the truth, and not accepting the smooth lies. Your Christ was not born on Christmas Day. The bad guys were born on Christmas Day. Why do you think they did 9-11? Might that not be the actual day of his birth, 3 or 4 B.C.? And who was running? Who was running Jerusalem? You know, Israel at the time. The Edomites. Who were the Edomites? Oh, you don't know. It's all in the Bible. May Yahweh bless. This is number 180. Thanks for spending some time with me. You need to get these videos out there if you want to have a fighting chance. A chance to defend yourselves. Otherwise, you might as well just go lay down and die. Hand everything over to the enemy. Because that's what you're doing. Yahweh bless. And you need to bless Yahweh. Turn back to Yahweh. Repent. Start living correctly. Embrace natural law. The law of life. Which they tell you is the Ten Commandments. Because they want you to react very poorly against those things. Remember, they give you life.